My name is Elizabeth McCoy, and as of December 3rd, I'll be at this phenomenal place 21 years, a place of hope, and I'm excited about it. They know me here as Mama Liz because everybody here is my baby. God has put in my life assignment of I have spiritual children. I have two birth children, but I got many spiritual children. So when I say, I got you, baby, I got you. The ministry I serve in is the prison team. God has blessed me to be a leader of a phenomenal team, and we go out and we live life on purpose. Well, I don't know if everybody knows, but most people know on December the 8th, I had a house fire right before Christmas and I lost everything. But let me tell you about that. This is the amazing thing about when you live for God, when you live for God, when you have that sacrifice, this is the reward afterwards. On December the 8th at 4 a.m., I woke up, and when I woke up, I thought I was in a deep fog or deep sleep because it was so black and it was so thick, the fog. So I thought I was in a dream. But when I went to open my mouth, I couldn't breathe. Then I realized I started choking the house while I was on fire. So when I got up, and move my body to get up to on my bed, my bed started disintegrating. My actual bed was on fire. But look at God, look at God. God said you can start that fire, but you can't touch it. Because now I don't know how long I was asleep to have that carbon dioxide, but not one time did it scar my lungs, not one time did that heat touch my body, but as soon as I got up out that bed, the whole bed came in, into flames, but God allowed me, and not stumbling my foot, as his as word says in Psalm 91, he'll give his angels charge over me, uh, to guard me in all of his ways, I won't even uh, snap my foot, and I didn't, I got up out of a dark room, a smoky dark room, he got me out of my room, and woke up my 85-year-old mom, my nephew, and my two dogs, and we got her all safely as the fire consumed the house, but God didn't let it touch us. I was in a burning bed, and I didn't even feel heat. As a matter of fact, when I woke up, I said, <laughs> you know, God, devil, you alive. And when I said that, I wanted to turn over to go back to sleep. And that's when I realized it was on fire, the house, it was smoke. And as soon as like I said, I got up, I put my hand on the mattress, it disintegrated, and I felt the heat and the fire. I got up, and when I turned, I saw the red flames consuming the bed I was just sleeping in. So that's how I know God is real. That's how I know he, he's a keeper. Nobody has to tell me. I have my own point of perspective. God is a keeper. He's a way maker. So on the other side of sacrifice, baby, that's what it is. God will keep you. And let me tell you this, it's a fixed fight. God knew it. I didn't know it was going to happen, but God knew this day would come. It was a setup from the get up. He said it was a setup from the get up. So now I, I, I pray. People wonder why, why I shout, why I pray. This is why, baby. This is why. So if you want to give the devil a black eye, baby, praise. Praise in your pain. Praise in your hurt. Because I'm telling you, when you do that sacrifice of praise, God said, come on, baby. I got you. Come on, baby. One more step. You think you can't take it, but one more step. Because this is how I know you got one more step in you because you're sitting here closing your righteous right mind. You're hearing my voice. So I know what's in you. I know what's in you. So this is on the other sacrifice. This is on the other side of sacrifice, baby. This is it. This is it. When you pray, know that your father hears you and he sent the answer. He sent the answer. So this is what's on the other side, baby, of the reward and sacrifice. God is keeping me. He's keeping me. He's changing me. I'm going from victory to victory, from glory to glory. Is it, does, it, does it get hard sometimes? Yes, it does. But that's when I say, God, you got this. And it's a fixed fight, and I've already won. I don't care what it look like, sound like, feel like. I tell the enemy, this is a fixed fight, and I've already won. Even with tears rolling down my face. This is a fixed fight, and you already won. 
because he's never lost a battle. And he truly never will, truly. So baby, this is on the other side of sacrifice and reward, it is. So if you see me shout, if you hear me shout, cause y'all know you hear me before you see me, know that. I'm giving him glory, what's due him. Know that, he's keeping me, know that. I'm shouting for you, know this. I just don't shout for myself, I shout for those who are heavy burdened. I shout for those. God said, you are your brother's keeper, you are your sister's keeper. So sometimes I'm not even shouting for me, I'm shouting for you. Until you get your shout back, I'm shouting for you. So this is on the other side. God has charged me to be a mother of this house. I don't take that for light. I don't take that for granted. I don't take that lightly. I take it seriously. I pray for y'all like I pray for my only, on my own two birth children. I pray for y'all. I lay before the throne room. But that's what God has charged me to do, and I will do that. So this is on the other side, baby, a reward and sacrifice. This is it right here. This is it right here. Joy, peace right here. Provision right here. Right here. This is on the other side.